border. The exodus to India is believed to have started after the People's Defence Forces attacked two military bases at the Khwamavi and Rikwadar area. The Myanmar army launched airstrikes in retaliation. According to the State Home Department, 31,364 Myanmar nationals are currently living in different parts of the state. Let's in fact listen in to what YMA Financial Secretary had to say. Okay. Uh, around 5,000 and 6,000. We cannot say the exact people. Uh, it's around five or five hundred or uh, five thousand or six thousand people are uh, coming to India. My colleague Akshit Gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Akshit, over to you. Yes, around five thousand Myanmar nationals are now taking shelter in the Zukatwar area of Mizoram Champai district as they fled from Myanmar and entered the district following a fresh airstrike by the Myanmar army in the bordering areas along the Indo-Myanmar border. And if I may also tell you the district administration NGOs and the Young Mizo Association and the village council have provided food, clothes and medicines to the Myanmar refugees who are now taking shelter uh, in the makeshift tents in the area. And <clears throat> according to the Young Mizo Association, uh, there are around four to five relief and refugee camps uh, in the area. Uh, well, uh, 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 Zohatwar is a village in Mizoram's Champai district which shares its it's border with Myanmar and now there are over 60 families from Myanmar now residing in Lipui uh, in, in that area and if I may also tell you uh, that uh, uh, a national from uh, Myanmar uh, also uh, uh, said that the hardship uh, 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 that they have been facing some hardship after fleeing uh, their home country and he arrived uh, in, in that area about two years ago uh, leaving behind a village that was burned down and bringing uh, and brought uh, nothing with him and despite the challenges uh, uh, they found support from the local community who provided them uh, with food, uh, clothing uh, uh, and, and shelter. Right, absolutely, Akshit. Uh, stay on with us. Uh, Colonel Shivdan Singh, defence expert, also joins us on the broadcast. Um, so now 5,000 Myanmar nationals are seeking refuge in Mizoram's Champai district following airstrikes by the Myanmar army on Indo-Myanmar border. What do you make of these developments? You see, since long time, uh, these Rohingya refugees are entering India through this area only. Now, the army which is ruling Myanmar since 2021, these people were creating some this thing, uh, uprising against the uh, army there, and army has carried out these air attacks in certain pockets in Myanmar. So these people are taking refuge, and I can say this way only from Myanmar, Bangladesh, and many, from many other countries, the population comes to India and they are increasing our problems in India. So this is not a healthy trend, and, but on humanitarian grounds, every time we allow them to enter, then we do not later on make the place clear from them and we do not try to return them. Same way, a lot of Rohingyas are roaming around in complete country. And this way, these people have entered India. Now they will get spread to the other part of the country. And this way, in India, these outsiders are finding shelters. And later on, they create problems for our country. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.